In your experience, what have been the characteristics of a successful news conference? What has made it work? Timing, first of all. We would never schedule the news because the wave season, at least half of it, usually runs over a, a Packers period of time. So the first question we ask, honestly, in this state is, what day are the Packers off this week? Because if we're doing on a day the Packers are not off, nobody's coming. So that was, I and mean, it may not affect your mock news conference, but in a real world, timing is a big part of it. When are you going to host it? Let me the time I was at the Wave, I'm trying to think of the news conferences that we did. We held one when Michael King retired. King played for 15 years and won four championships, and everybody in town knows Kinger. Um, we did one when the team announced it was shutting down. We did one when the team announced it was coming back. We did one for the championship game. We did a media day prior to that. And I think those are the only four actual news conferences we did in my three and a half years. But every single one of them was really well attended. I think we had full, just about full television attendance at every single one, which is great when you're the wave and you don't know what your owner thinks and you walk in and there's four and there's 12 and there's six and there's 58 and there's 32. Um, that's a good feeling. So it's, it's picking a point, like I said, you being able to go to these um, editors, assignment editors, reporters, whomever, and having their trust to say, look, you know, this is important. We're going to hold a news conference. It's a big deal. You're going to want to come. And then when they come, not having them go, what's this crap? This isn't important. Or what? You, you could have sent me a press release. That, that can do a lot of damage. So if you're going to throw a news conference, make sure it's the type of news that they're going to want to really hear something about.